Hey guys, I'm Janice on occasion, and today we're playing Montrucari, and I think we're making good progress. Uh, the Eldari are getting pretty pretty beaten, and uh, I just hit my uh, hand on the desk, and now it hurts. But uh, through pain, I will only grow more powerful. It's me, Archon Janet. G grr. That's intimidating, right? Excellent. Excellent. No, that's Mr. Burns, not Drukari. I'm not very good at this. Anyway, we, more research. We're going to do a research. It's going to be great. Everyone will be really happy about it, okay? It's going to be awesome. Um, Cabalite Trueborn might be fun. But what have we got over here? Ravagers. Bars a powerful gunship fit to deal with any heavily armored menace. That sounds pretty useful. Uh, grants all Drukari vehicles the ability to restore hit points. Well, I mean, that sounds like cheating. Assault weapon bonus increases armor penetration. Of assault weapons specifically? You'd assume so, but... Incubi. They're supposed to be very good, aren't they? I believe. From my, like, surface level of understanding of the Drukari. What do we get, like, near the end? Webway artillery. Soul hunger built to damage enemy unit. I mean, that sounds rad. Tantalus. Ooh, just a big... Just a big battleship. That sounds great. Huge twin-hulled assault skimmer with a large cargo capacity and a powerful arsenal. I think that's very cool. Uh, Void Raven bombers. That's pretty cool too. Supersonic bomber carrying a destructive bomb and powerful ground attack weapons. There's the Torment grenade launchers. God, that's a while away, isn't it? Yeah, we want those for our raiders. That's what we want. Uh, relaxed Ilmea Manifolds, of course. Increases energy output of energy production buildings. That's just... Again, that's just a, just a straight up bonus. That's great. Restore hit points each turn. That sounds awesome. Increases armor of vehicles. Pretty, pretty obvious. An Eerie has aircraft, obviously. Increased growth by default of Drukari cities. That I like too. God, there's some cool stuff here. Combat drags. Uh, combat drags. Combat drags grant move through cover. That's kind of cool. Raider Evasion. Increase the invulnerability damage reduction of infantry Drakari units when they disembark from a transport. That's very cool too. Soul Tithe. Resource output, control outpost. There's just a lot of cool stuff, isn't there? Let's get Raider Evasion. Okay, we're going to get that because I feel like we are taking advantage of that already. Like that's something we're doing a fair bit. Actually, let's get Raider Readiness first. That lets us get back in our ships and then travel on to the next city without having to without having to wait around. Which I think sounds um, honestly awesome. That sounds real good. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so now that we've decided on the one research, um, let's end the turn, because I think everyone's quite content. You know, they've done their jobs. These guys are, oh, they're going to get it. Told you. You, you going to take a shot too? Do you want to have a go? There we go. And he just got influence, which is a dead giveaway that he's just murdered them all. <laughs> so well done. I like this. If they could just keep churning out units like this, I'm happy just to keep obliging, you know? Alright, let's get you in here. Let's also get the Archon in here. And there we go. Full ship. How cool is that? Very cool. Very cool is how cool is that. Alright, let's move you guys up a bit. Alright, I want eyes on this thing so I can, you know, get to position. They're on the Red Mountain, apparently. Probably Red Mountain because of all the volcanoes. I would love to make a city over here with all the crazy plus 40% ores. Though we did have that over here, too. We got the option for that. At least in one spot. Oh, a couple spots. Nearby. So yeah, no, I'd quite like to get that over here, too. Uh, definitely want to make that a city, which makes me wonder: Do I just go ahead and do that? You know, do I do I just make a city over here now? How are we looking for loyalty? Loyalty is a bit rubbish there, but uh, yeah, I can put that higher. And on this one, again, not great, but we are working on that now. So I wonder if now is the time to get another city going. I think I'm going to do it. You know, I think I'm going to do it. All right, a little pricey, but fine, largely. So let's grab 
Um, that first. Okay, because I want to build a loyalty building there before we do anything else. And then we'll grab that and build some more generation. And then maybe some more um, more loyalty again. Ugh. Well, now I'm sad that I put the loyalty down a lot. Because I feel like they're slowing us down. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Okay. That's going to be their capital soon. Because this is going to get destroyed. Uh, 122 hit points, though. I really hope these scourges can do some good damage. I really do. I really do. It's going to take some time. Oh, hello. Hi. Are you going to have a crack at them as well? Or just wipe out the whole unit again? Oh, no, we're not going to wipe out the whole unit. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, please don't throw a grip. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, that's surprising. I was expecting them to die. Mr. Bond. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's move you up. Okay, good. Uh, you sit tight. Next turn, we'll attack him. Okay, we'll attack him next turn. Uh, a little worried about where to position these guys. Because we can't really deploy... If we deploy, like, one tile back, then we're going to have three of them... Oh, actually, no, because when you deploy them, they can actually move out, can't they? So, I guess, if that's range two, then we can just go there. Oh, not there. There, apparently. We can go there, and then unload all of our units. Which is good. They can jump jet right around to the back. And these can just skirt around as much as possible. And we can get this whole thing completely surrounded. Um, and that's going to be great. I'm going to enjoy that a lot. And hopefully, we'll have some haywire grenades at some point. Uh, we have more racks. We have more racks. Do I want to put something over there to keep that safe? I suppose I can get stuff there pretty quickly if I need to. Can't I? So I'm not sure how useful racks are going to be over here. To be perfectly honest. Um, let's put them over here for now. They're happy there. Maybe grabbing this as well would be nice. Just to take this area over. You know, get the extra influence. I could build a bunch of influence granting buildings there. If that's a thing I can indeed build. Which, come to think of it, I'm not entirely sure about. Um, but we'll see. So that's all building stuff. Uh, we are actually running low on food. And energy is getting very low. So actually, how are we looking on energy? I mean, that's our big food production spot. Uh, oh, and there's a 40% ore production there as well. That's really cool. So none of those are huge for energy. And, uh... I mean, that gives a 10% bonus for production here, but... That doesn't mean we're actually... Like, gonna earn all that much. There, is it? But I think that does need to produce this energy, you know. Oh, that's giving us 20% extra. That's only 10%. So actually, yeah, energy here is just gonna be better. And we will have it built quicker, so I guess there's that too. But I'm going to need to put it in a new spot. So let's take that over. And then we'll start building energy buildings there. We still lost 10 turns, so I'm, I'm comfortable that we'll manage. Although that is going to go faster because we are building more buildings in the meantime. I'm a little bit worried we're going to run out of energy. Uh, that would be annoying. I would, I would dislike that. <laughs> I wouldn't enjoy that. All right, next turn. Gonna wait till next turn, and then we're gonna jump them. And I suppose that's gonna get blown up, is it? Hello, warlocks. Goodbye, warlocks. <laughs> so they got oh wow, gate of infinity. That's cool. Um, so they got a bunch of uh, magic burks who just ran straight into fire. I know these are like very fast, like attack vehicles that. You know, should never be stood in the same place for long, but it's odd that they haven't picked up on the fact that this is not a place you should be running into. Um, or maybe they're sending people out, uh, just like, oh yeah, call me tomorrow, won't you? Let me know how you how you settled into your new house over in uh, in uh, Uraith. They're like, yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. Like two seconds later, shot down. They're still just waiting for the call. Um, friends, I called you that, though I know you'd knife me in the back at a glance from Vect. Friends, hold yourselves ready. The moment is almost here. 
The herd do not even know that we're coming. In but minutes we will descend, flay, rend, torment, murder, and drink their souls. With style, of course, we're not savages. That's Guy Thinius Roche, Archon of the Last Blade. Do you remember him? You know, Roche of the Last Blade. <laughs> Alright, let's get over here. And we're going to start having fun. So, Archon. We we just can't move there. Well, that's annoying, actually, that we can't that we can't get over that hurdle because I moved the Archon too short. Should have moved out to there first. Um, oh, it's a flipping cliff. That's why. It's just it's just a cliff. Okay, you move there then. Um, what a load of rubbish. Okay, let's move you guys to there. And we're just going to have to shimmy over, I suppose. Five damage from them. That's not too bad. And we have haywire grenades with you lot, so we can get another 13 damage. You know what? I should have done the damage thing. I'll do the morale thing. I'll have a couple getting uh, taking advantage of that. In fact, everyone nearby seems to get that. That's lovely. Um, and then I'll do soul harvest on you guys. 12 damage. It's quite good. It's quite good. You know, I'll, I'll take it. And that's really upset them. So if we keep shooting, it's not going to do much damage. But that won't actually matter, because we're doing morale damage every time we attack. And if we can get it to break... Then, uh, yeah, then it'll, it'll... It'll take more damage. Oh god, morale's going so low. That's fantastic. But we didn't break it. But that was all pretty cool. You know, that was all quite nice. I mean, Cabalite Warriors could shoot from there, couldn't they? Alright, let's get you in there. Ah, you don't have the Haywire Grenades yet. That's a shame. Okay. Well, that's all pretty cool. And we discovered Warlocks. I mean, discovered is one word for it. When the Warlocks of the Craft World join their minds, the fate of worlds can hinge upon their actions. As true sons of Cain, these militant psychers will plunge into combat at the slightest provocation. Witch blades and singing spears are swung in graceful arcs, leaving uh, coruscating webs of energy behind them. As the Conclave carves through the ranks of their adversaries, they do so with joy in their souls. For of all the seers of the Eldari hosts, the Warlocks are the fiercest and most violent of all. I don't know why I'm sort of putting on this weird Attenborough voice. Anyway, um, let's uh, do something. You guys can just sit tight here, I suppose, honestly. Um, maybe, maybe clear some of this territory, because all this wireweed is going to get in the way of us building. Lovely. Lovely stuff. All right, let's do one of these. That's going to take five turns. Which isn't too, too bad. And then we'll take over this and start getting some ore. Lots and lots of ore. And for you, we're going to have more vehicles in a minute. Upkeep's ore, though, which is nice. Not a lot of energy upkeep, apart from our buildings. So that is good. That is good news. Um, okay, we're going to get that building built. Then we can get... I don't know, what else do we want here, apart from research? Do I just want to get more research here? We'll just turn this into our, like, crazy laboratory. I kind of like that idea. And then, once we have all of the research, we'll demolish everything. <laughs> Build something, presumably. Uh, real space repairs. So vehicles can restore hit points. I quite like that. Or invulnerability damage of, uh, of the infantry once they disembark. That's another nice thing to get. We're really just getting everything we can to help our boys out. Increased armor penetration might be nice. Um, for assault units, like these assault weapons? Yeah, these are. So I'll have better armor pen. Which sounds good. Oh, hello. Should we get more scourges? More racks. Let's get more scourges. I like the anti-vehicle guys on jump jets. That's really fun. They'll be able to, like, jump over the lines. Ooh. That's a pity. What about the cargo that's in it? Oh, you lose the cargo. Okay, so if transports get shot, everyone in it dies. That's disappointing. I was wondering how that would work, but, um... Well, we just lost some boys, guys. 
be lots of boys. Don't worry about it. We have other boys. Um, so none of these guys can use their haywire grenades yet. Which is disappointing. Alright, let's just type with you. Let's queue up everybody. Seems we've got no, no tricks up our sleeves today. We're just going to keep shooting it until it's dead. Um, or, you know, until it's a little bit hurt. Um, ah, we got you. Uh, not enough resources. Oh my god, we need 15 influence, and we have 7. That's pretty rubbish. So I guess what I'm going to do... I wonder here, actually, because you can actually move into a transport, if I have infantry training and the transport's in the way, are they going to just move into the transport? Is that a thing that can happen? Because that could be cool. I'm going to test that. So they're still shooting. Um, Karin is almost destroyed. And it seems everyone is done shooting. Cool. Yeah, I'll keep you where you are. Uh, you guys keep clearing. Keep clearing the wireweed. Perfect. And I guess that'll do for the turn. Alright, no exploding. You're not allowed. Alright, good boy. Ooh, umbras. Those spooky boys. Raider evasion. The Drukari live to inflict pain, and there are crucial moments in their existence that exemplify this. When an incubized glaive falls, when a witch torments her victim in the arena, and the split second of deadly surprise the Drukari raiders leap from their skycraft. Ooh boy. Uh, so that's increasing the damage and uh, invulnerability damage reduction of infantry when they just bug. Uh, let's get rid of those ruins as well. So we have three building slots there now. Okay. That's underway. Yeah, take over more territory so we can start building... Um, yeah, we'll be able to start building this soon. Uh, that's going to take four turns. So we'll have ten left by the end, hopefully. Well, under ten, because a couple of this other stuff will be built. So we'll have, like, maybe, like, eight. Six or eight um, energy left by the time that we get that built. Which I think is just just real, real swell. Okay, we'll save the haywire grenades because we're about to head over here. And, okay, you next. You know what? Witches, suddenly. It's the melee weapon bonus, that extra armor penetration. You can do 7.7 .7 damage attacking a city now. It's actually pretty good. And then the Archon gets the kill, because obviously. This is my kill. Uh, we helped. Shut it. <laughs> I'm the best. I'm really cool. Alright, let's get you in there. Uh, Alright, well that's all done. Um, so this Venom is a little injured. So I'm going to send it on an adventure. Hello there, neophyte hybrids. We hadn't seen them before. So each cultist is spry and tough of build. Weathered over a lifetime of hard labour, their physical strength and reaction is bolstered by the alien genes lurking within. Neophyte hybrids do not bear the outward hallmarks of the patriarch's sacred touch, as their brood leaders tell them their blessings are of the soul more than the body, even though the um, head that they decided to use is the incredibly bulbous, weird, very alien one, which I think is quite funny. Um, anyway. Uh, these third or fourth generation hybrids can pass for human. Some are even cunning enough to infiltrate the Astra Militarum. When the cult goes on the attack, these neophytes show their true colours, surging from sewers, catacombs, and shadowy barracks. They swarm their enemies in such number they can seize control of the planet's defences within the first hours of conquest. Fun. Uh, right. I don't need to move you at all. I'll let everyone just run into into that. Well, a couple of these units. Which couple, though? So we've got the Cabalite Warriors. They can fly on their own. So we'll take the Archon and the Witches. I guess these Cabalite Warriors can just run behind. And uh, the Scourge is nice and quick. So they can do the same. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, one more turn and we'll see if um, they'll like embark or not. Ok, 
Okay, so you guys stay where you are. God, I can't believe we got rid of another city already. I say already, we're down 50. Is that quick? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, we dealt with it. We're quite higher in terms of, like, you know, we're quite high in terms of our tier. Um, I mean, take on any opponent just sounds quite useful, doesn't it? Sure does. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. We're going to fill in some gaps, okay? I want to get, like, a succubus and a homunculus, I think. Although that is going to cost us influence as upkeep. So we are going to be really down on influence unless we're getting a load of kills. Um, let's get the Archon's inspection so we can buff... Yeah, we have nothing we can spend on that. Alright, you know what? I'm going to get the homunculus because I like the homunculus. Seems cool. <laughs> Alright, that's what we're going to do. I want someone who can heal people. Even though now everyone seems to be getting healed. Anyway. Do I just ignore all them? Combat drugs doing additional melee damage is nice, but combat drugs costing us influence. We don't really have much. Grr. Morale reduction loss sounds good. We're just going to do everything that allows us to do these little amphibious landing assault thingies. Okay? All of that stuff. Ooh. Ooh, boy. A lot of nearby hybrids. I've got quite a few nearby hybrids. I've got Gene Seeler Cult Army. It's not finished yet. And, um, I've done more work on the Brood Brothers than the actual Gene Seeler Cults uh, units I've got. So I've got way more, like, Imperial Guard stuff done. Uh, which has been fun, just like head swapping all of those guys. And having a bunch of like Lehman Russes with uh, crazy like mutant gene stealer dudes poking their heads out. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Um, I didn't mean to send the witches there. I was going to send the Cabalite warriors off that way. So that's a bit embarrassing. I'll send them anyway. Okay, we've got more infantry on the way. Okay, I know you can fly, but... Oh, you can't even go to the transport. Alright, I guess you are flying then. Never mind. Never mind. You can catch up. Alright, and you start shooting. Um, so, like, there's a lot of neutral territory here. Oh, another bastion there. That's interesting. Oh, and these witches have been loitering here for a while, haven't they? Yeah, they must have been. Those are the ones that got really injured. Nice to know they can just come in and haywire grenade the, uh, Yurith. And yes, that's how I'm saying that. Oh, it does work. We have scourges. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's really cool. So it does, it does fill them up. That's really exciting. Although, hang on. Hang on a minute. But scourges can't go into a transport. I think we just found a bit of a loophole. I don't think scourges can go into a transport unless you throw them in there. That's pretty funny. Okay, do I want to destroy this? Can I destroy this with, like, these two? I'm tempted to try, but I also really don't want that to fail. And, um, you know, for me to look silly. I hate to look silly. Alright, let's do that. And, uh, a couple times, even. Let's do that a couple times. Okay, so we got that still building. Uh, you guys, you doing anything? Yep, more loyalty. Good. Which you may need to do even more of. And you, to be honest. Yeah, loyalty's getting pretty revolting. We also need to build another one of these. Tell you what, we can just build another one there. That's only six energy. Ooh. We may need more. Oh, we may need more. We're only slowing it down. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well. Um, right, you guys are all having, having a good time. Everyone's having a good time. Don't worry about it. Oh, we have Laurels of Command now, apparently. Well, I'll have to equip that when I get the option. Um, moving on. You sit tight. Actually, don't sit tight. Do the other one. Move. That's it. Yeah, let's get you over here. We'll uh, join the fray. We'll join the fray. We're a lot better prepared to take out that sissy. Uh, you're not going to blow up, are you? No, no, he's good. He's all right. He's all right. Okay, how are we looking? Very good. Grizzly trophies. Some Drukari vehicles are adorned with the disembodied heads of slain foe and daubed with copious amounts of enemy blood. The site of the festering remains uh, of uh, once proud foes. 
Is once proud not like hyphenated or something? I guess not. Um, I was like, what's an Anka proud? Remains of once proud foes instills the Drukari with arrogant pride. Sure does. Sure does. Uh, so any of you guys can kill them. I'm going to let the witches do it. I think they'd enjoy it most. You know? just They just strike me as just sort of like your, your pretty typical slaughter enjoyers. Oh. Okay, this could be interesting. Is this just a little pond? Or is there going to be a miraculously landlocked area up here? And, you know, it's be separated by ocean in this shadowy bit. Probably not. It's probably a little pond. But, you know, one can dream. Alright, well, I can get there next turn. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to do that with you guys, too. So, okay. Your wraith is gone next turn, then. It's nice to know. I never liked it anyway. Uh, so that's all pretty cool. Happy with how you lot are doing. Uh, don't want to get rid of Cult Arena. Could get rid of a Sustenance Den for now. I'm just wondering if I can like save energy somewhere. But I'm not sure I really want to. I'll just see if I can make it through. You know? What does we'll muddle on? Grave Lotus. In combat drugs do seem useful. I assume Incubi have combat drugs, so maybe that'll be... You know, I think Incubi are probably the... They seem to be the best infantry, right? Or at least the most broad ones, since they can take a lot of the opponent. I assume they're just... If not the best at every job, then being able to do every job just means I'll sort of average out as just being, like, my choice of infantry for the most part. In which case, um... Yeah. Should be good. Just get them and, uh... Start stocking up on them. I think it might be the way to go. I get Grave Lotus... So they can get the combat drugs afterwards. Sure. Or, well, better combat drugs. If they can get combat drugs. Because I don't know. But we'll find out. So you guys are all looking pretty good. You chilling out. Love it. Uh, we can get more of these infantry. But I'm actually going to pass up on that for now. Uh, insightful. Very insightful. Real... Real captivating stuff. Okay, the witches. Oh, hello there, Imperial Bastion. I had seen him before. And I completely... Blanked it. I didn't think it was that... Far south. So those witches are all dead. Which is, um... <laughs> which is annoying. And yeah, you can't really finish them off there, but... May as well take some shots. Um... Yeah, you can go there too. They can't hit you from there. More resources. Lovely. Well, it's not a lot. But yeah, I guess he wins. He wins this round. This is why we need a bunch of Incubi. Yeah. Okay, you guys sit tight. Oh, actually, don't sit tight. You're all ready. Yeah, okay, it's uh, it's go time. It's go time. We're doing, doing a murder. Let's go. Archon, move over there, please. You move there. Uh, that raider can move to there. I don't know about our scourges. Oh, yeah, they can move in. Excellent. Uh, these witches can move in. You can come over to here. You can get in over this side. And then these racks can move out. And then we can do the morale thingy. Oh, I could have leveled that up. Oh, that's silly. Well, I'll do soul harvest on these scourges. They can do 14.5 damage. Lovely. Actually, I should have attacked with everyone else first. Get the morale down, then attack. Well, we have these scourges at least. They won't have the damage bonus, but still quite good. Okay, keep going, boys. So we found some recap leaf. Where did we find that? Oh, there it is. These humble fields of wheat. <laughs> Running through fields of wheat. These humbles of uh, wild herbs hide a secret. A rich food and narcotic stimulant that allows organic grazers to go without sleep or rest for great periods of time. Called Recaf by humans, it's collected, processed, and dis uh, distributed to factory workers and slaves to greatly improve their output. 
Good, good. Um, so you haven't attacked yet. Oh, and you also have this. Yeah, sure, you can equip that, I guess. We picked that up in a thingy at some point. You know, the thingy. All right, you can attack next. That is everybody, isn't it? Yeah, such as the Scourges for that final hit. Haven't quite destroyed it, but it's dead next turn. And that'll be the end of the Eldari. You know, our... I can't think of the word. I'm thinking douchebag, but I don't think they were using the... I don't think they used the term douchebag. Our douchebag cousins. It's the title of episode two, anyway. Um, of this series. Don't think it was douchebag. Could have been douchebag. Maybe, maybe. Like, the slim odds, but, like, it's not impossible. Um, how are you doing, anyway? You get rid of that forest. But I don't even need to. You just sit tight. Okay, city is building stuff. That's all fine. I'll wait for the Incubi next turn before recruiting. We're now on minus 12 energy, which means two buildings to break even. Although, it's, it's generating six by default, but six isn't going to be the amount that it's doing because that doesn't take into account the bonuses we're getting. So we might get, like, nine. So I guess not the end of the world. So, Incubi. The Incubi are warrior perfectionists of the highest order. Protected by the ornate plates of their ancient war suits, they move swiftly in for the kill, sweeping giant claves in practiced decapitating strikes. Sure. Uh, all right. That's really cool that you can do that, like, over... You know, on a beach. That's very satisfying. Ooh, hello there. Mobile hollow projector. Definitely want to grab that. Okay, so it does seem there's some unexplored stuff up here. Which is really good to see. Uh, Alright, you guys. You attack. <laughs> and then guess who's going to get the kill? That's right, it's Archie. Archie with the kill. Well... Nice. Liath Star Dancer can go back to um, Dancing in the Stars. Oh dear, our cousins are all dead. Our douchebag cousins. Who could have done such a terrible thing? I know. Let's torture this farce here and see if we can get any answers. Take a tongue out first, though, to make it last a bit longer. You have to wait for them to learn Morse code before we can get an answer, I guess. Um, all right. Let's get, uh, let's get back aboard, shall we? Cool. And, uh, well, they can go on board. I don't know why one of them was just like. Yeah, this unit just doesn't want to. Like, why not? It's very strange. Also, I don't know why this one keeps saying not usable. When here it doesn't. I mean, they're both raiders, so I don't know what is going on there. Oh, I think the Archon. Nope, that scourges and. Cabal like warriors. I get it. Scourges take two. They take two. They take two slots. That's what it is. That would track. That would track. Okay. Uh, and we have our Venom here as well. Do I want to move to here now? Actually, I think I want to move to here. I want to grab that too. We get some more influence. Hot diggity daffodil. So the mobile holo projector. This holo projector may be monolithic, but it's never where you think it is. Once you've blundered into the actual holo projector, you can deploy its capabilities on nearby units, massively increasing their survivability as enemy shots and blows are wasted. So it gives us um, something. Uh, increases hit points. There you go. That'll be handy. That'll be handy. Okay. So we have Incubi. Powerful melee unit that can take on any opponent. Three turns per incubi. That's pretty good. And the upkeep is all food, which uh, we can make up for pretty quickly, I think. Um, skull altar discovered. We discovered a skull altar. Cool. Uh, more influence from the skull altar, too. That's good news. Uh, and this place isn't building anything right now. So we can actually get a fair bit of food from here as well. Um, getting some recruitment would be nice here too, I think. I think that would actually be rather nice. But I guess, really, I just I just want to get more research. <laughs> so let's queue up 
Ooh, a couple of, one. We're queuing up one, right? And then we're going to build here. Right, I'm going to take this tile. I'm going to build another uh, cage den. And then we'll see how things are going. Uh, we need another cage den here. Crap. That's annoying. We need more power as well. Well, um... I discovered that. Lovely. Oh, hi. Hi, fellas. How's it going? Now having a good time. And yeah, I drove off without the archive. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. This is all looking pretty good. I'm happy with how this is going. So, next research. Extra vehicle armor would be pretty cool. We can start getting an air force going, you know. Torment grenade launchers. We got to. We got to. We need those for our raiders. And our raiders can start doing more damage. Uh, and eventually, we're going to end up with a Tantalus, which is very cool. Yeah, the extra vehicle armor is going to be good, though. And actually, we're doing this first. Increase the energy output of energy production buildings. Like, that's the one thing that we're really freaking out about at the moment, so... It'd be silly not to get that, really. It's only three turns. Oh, enslavers are on their way. Spooky scary. A lot of poxwalkers around here, too. Awful lot of poxwalkers. Okay. Scourges. Let's get you guys in here. You can't actually do much damage, because you're very... Uh... Oh, actually, I say that. That works. Okay, now let's get the Cabalite Warriors out here. You can finish them off. And uh, you guys can start shooting them. Okay, let's get some racks out here. You can kill most of them. Uh, oh, I just got an achievement. As Drew Cowry deal 20 damage in one attack. I think after disembarking, I couldn't read the rest. Okay. Oh, these scourges aren't going to do much. But I'm going to try and get him to do something anyway. Because I want to take this over. I say that, I can once again just use a uh, grenade. Okay, now you can grab that. And you can grab that. Although I don't really want this venom to get enslaved, do I? Um... What's the plan here? I'm not sure. Let's just grab that. Um, sure. I feel like all this stuff can probably get on top of these enslavers pretty quickly if something does get enslaved. I don't think it'll be the end of the world. You know, I just don't see it escaping us, frankly. Okay, we have our racks up here. I really don't want to move, like, further this way and uncover another faction yet. I'm really enjoying just sort of cruising out in the middle, just grabbing millions of outposts. It's pretty good. Like, big, big fan of that. Okay. So we got more energy going. We're only on minus three now. So that's good news. We're also getting a lot of energy from stuff. What are we getting energy from? We're getting energy from killing stuff. Nope, Bruins of Vool had a bunch of energy in it. Alright, I'll take it. That I like. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of randomly finding a bunch of batteries. Um, so yeah, that's all good. This isn't building right now. So, we can start getting some more ore. That's also pretty great. I know, we're kind of going a bit mad on ore. As it turns out, we're doing really well on it. Uh, this is also something I might want to take over, actually. Because that'd be a really nice, like, outpost. Like, way ahead that we just teleport to on the front line. Uh, and now suddenly everyone's very interested in it. Oh, boy. I mean, it's only Poxwalkers, so it's not the end of the world, but there's a lot of them. Oh, don't all smash the webway gate, you jerks. <laughs> Arcticta. Like, Arctica, but wrong. But they don't know how to spell. Poor dears. Uh, so this is nice. I like this. I like that this exists, you know? That's that's cute. I don't like that this is in the way of that. This The way the cliffs are here is quite frustrating. 
Okay, let's move in here. Oh boy. I think we found like an Umbra nest. That's horrible. Uh, that isn't though. This is very satisfying. That we can just slaughter them with scourges. Great news. Alright. You guys. Um, yeah, chop them up. Have fun. That's not that great though. You know what? Kill them all with grenades. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you go get them. We have our Archon. Alright, you can do some extra damage in there. You can do a little, not much. Something. It's it's something. Can't wait till you guys get the grenade launchers. Or did you get that already? No, we uh, we changed our mind about that. We decided the energy output was more important, which I totally understand. You know, on account of its importance. Oh, a bit more damage there, I suppose. Uh, we really have just everything coming out for us right now. At some point, we're going to clear all this stuff out, and suddenly all of our neighbours are going to go, Oh, look, we can explore the rest of the map now. Isn't that convenient? And I'm going to be very annoyed that I cleared it out. Um, so let's have a look. We've got more incubi in the way. And with more incubi, we can spit them out of here if this survives another turn, which at this point I'm doubtful of. But maybe one of these will create a better front line, I don't know. We'll see. We don't want to get rid of that. Ooh, these scourges are still good to go too. Let's get you up this way, shall we? Is that a worthwhile place to go? I don't know. It's fine. Uh, you guys are all looking pretty good. Uh, you cities, I think you're all happy. Building away. Doing what I ask of you. Okay, they're not doing much damage to our scourges. Our scourges are fairly resilient. So this is all fine. There's just like hordes of jerks attacking us here. Yeah, we can retreat back into our transport and uh, be pretty content, I think. Relaxed Ill Mayor Manifolds, which uh, I don't know how much of a difference that made. This station, uh, this power station is only accessing the tiniest fraction of the power of one of the Drukari's Ill Mayor, the captured Black Suns that are in Kamora. Relaxing the safety manifolds just a touch boosts the power uh, commensurately, uh, as well as massively increasing the chance the Ill Mayor errs and consumed Gladius Prime in a gulp. Good. That's a risk the near and immortal Drukari are happy to take. Does... I don't know, surely... Surely that's backwards. Surely you don't really care about damaging the environment if you're short-lived, because you won't live to see the consequences of it. If you're immortal, then why would you make dumb risks to be like, oh, I could destroy the planet. It's like thousands of years off your lifespan, right? <laughs> so... Is that not more consequential? I don't know. It's bizarre. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're like, oh, well, I've lived a lot, so I guess I'm fine. Like, that That doesn't sound like something you'd expect from Jukari, you know? Oh, my life doesn't matter. Like, isn't that all that matters to you? You know? Isn't yours... Well, yours is the only one that does matter, I suppose. So, yeah, not sure what... Uh, What's up with that? Sounds a bit silly. Okay, you guys have to climb in somehow. Could use transport, but uh, where's the fun in that, apparently? I can do a smidge of damage to these guys. I'm not sure I necessarily want to. I think getting close to them might be a bit of a problem. But I guess the raider can, like lock. You know? Um, also, oh, they can fly, can't they? We, we found that out before. They can fly. But, I think we can do some good damage to him. So let's try and chase it off. And I think I'm going to rely on Overwatch so we can do more damage. Although, actually, you, you're irrelevant. But if something moves to us, then I want to probably shoot it then. Ah, screw it. I'll shoot now. Okay. So, the Incubi. They look amazing, by the way. Like, look at these things. They're very cool. 
Ah, I see why it's called a clave, because it's like... It's two knives, but they become a glaive or something. All right, you go over here. I pressed the right button. I know that goes against tradition, but I thought I'd ended something special. Guys, we are crushing it. We have we have uh, Incubi now, so uh, everyone can tremble um, at our glorious gloriousness. <laughs> so, guys, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Um, or, or I'll, I'll tickle you to death. There we go. Am I doing the Drukari thing better now? Excellent. See you in the next one. Or else. Deeper and deeper into excess until we birthed a dark god.